hope you are doing well wherever you are and thank you for coming and uh, joining us in this particular video it's a follow-up video of a regreening project i'm doing it's an ambitious project i must say that but it's coming home well i'm sure you have uh, seen what you have done in part one that was done about three months ago and today i want to show you how this place has transformed uh, this ones this ones was done uh, up not April August last year that's about one year and two months down the line and you can see this is actually been pretty well so I want to visit all the sections I'll be showing you one by one what we have done Karibu and uh, in case you have not subscribed kindly be part of us subscribe share and watch and make a comment asante san let's start with this it's surprising that uh, it's actually surviving so this one is a cypress tree i tried doing cypress for quite some time and uh, i had given up so this one i was just doing it by the way but it's actually coming home i don't know why but uh, this is a surprise so right here we have uh, these uh, passion fruits that is purple passion fruits we have done quite a number of them. I can show them here. So what I realized is that uh, it's good when they are actually done close. This is a distance of about one meter by one meter. And uh, in eight months, this one should be able to be at a good height and uh, starting flowering and fruiting on that matter let's go <laughs> this one you will see i'm um, trying to prepare this place this soil and uh, this one is sweet potatoes specifically because it's a rocky area i'm trying to make it uh, fertility better so the easiest way to do that is to use sweet potatoes and it's actually coming home i'll show you a better section but you can see there are plenty of them here this is citrus this is actually uh, the same one year two months and it's performing very well you can see this is a guava so i had chosen guavas for this section because i knew that uh, this is an early section but i tried a variety of them so that i could see what actually works and then i'll adopt that but uh, they have done very well. You can see this is a mango. And uh, just by observing the shoots, you can actually see it has uh, adapted to that particular place. The gravelias are doing well. Gravelias are actually doing well. You can see this. And if the cameraman can be able to focus on this, you can see this height. This is actually okay. Now, I, I didn't want to first start pruning because I wanted them to, to be a little bit large but now I'm very comfortable to start pruning and let it go at that height. So this is Washington Naval. It was a, you can see, I need to do some management. Obviously this one is crafted from a citrus plant. I'll show you one which has uh, actually started fruiting but so far this one they are very good when uh, it's rainy but whenever you don't have rain and you are de depending on rainy uh, yeah, grain fed irrigation this one will be a challenge to you and uh, this one obviously is a natural one I don't know but uh, when we were kids we used to hit the so you realize I've inter intermanaged this, intercropped the natural trees from the ones we are planting fresh. As you can see, this one has flowered. In fact, this is not the first flowers. This is, I think, the third flowers. But uh, I normally remove the flowers first so that the tree can focus on growing. And uh, it has actually adapted. This one is now strong. And I'm confident about that. Just focus a little bit there. That is a Washington novel. And then what I told you about the sweet potatoes. 
Let's go on the other hand and you'll see the impact of sweet potatoes. This is what I was telling you about the sweet potatoes. They are very good foliage and they work very fast. If I tell you this one, it's actually less than two months old. The, the same thing, when I did it, the ridge between, in between the ridges, I did a uh, very good, uh, this is two months beans, and they are actually working very well. Very productive, for that matter, you can see. This is, uh, I planted this one two months ago, and it's actually doing pretty well. Let me show you the other section. So this, uh, this is natural, not natural. What do you normally call them? Uh, croton tree. These were the first trees I brought it here because uh, initially I had problems with water, I had problems with the now animals and all that. But when I brought these ones, they actually formed the first trees which uh, opened this section and told me that it confirmed to me that it can actually work so here go as avocado this is as avocado this one is now going up. Initially it was uh, stressed but at this stage I'm confident that uh, it's now going up. You can see this about one meter point something. So in a few months I'm pretty sure this one will start uh, getting fruits. This, this is three tomato. Maybe you can focus and show them the fruits. You can see here, from this side you can see better. Yeah. This is a plant which is sustainable and uh, doesn't need a lot of things. So long as you get the rain, it normally takes 8 months and they'll be ready. For the passion which are already matured, oh that one was taken born. So this one is cassava. I decided to do about 5,000 plants of cassava. You will see another section where I'll show you. But uh, this one actually is the third season or the third crop. I already harvested the first crop, the second crop, and the third crop. And uh, I can confirm to you that God really blessed us in this place. We have red soils, and that one is actually doing pretty well. You have some popo. This is Malkia F1. And they are actually doing well. Then, this is the passion I was telling you. It's already uh, harvested. This one is uh, purple and it's actually very sweet. But you can see some seeds, some uh, fruits, sorry, flowers. This one is a little bit big, you can see here. So, this, is, this was my prototype. I was testing this. So that I realized it can actually work, that's why I'm doing the, the larger expanse. English name of this, huh? it's called Mbahazi. Doesn't, doesn't need a lot of uh, tendering, actually works very well. So that is it for this small farm. We are going to see on the other hand what we have actually done. This is Baringo shot, the dwarf purpose. They're actually performing very well. So I have uh, about three of them which have matured. So this one has started forming the fruits. The good thing is that whenever it has started, you are going to eat and eat and eat. I'll show you another one which is uh, a little bit older than this. These are the sweet potatoes which actually form the seedling parts where I cut the cuttings and uh, transfer to the other sections. This one I've harvested them about five times. So after three, four months, they're actually ripe. You can see that section is a little bit smaller. 
because we actually transferred some cuttings from that other section just recently. I'll give you the Baringo shot. This has actually performed very well. You can see we actually started uh, harvesting the fruits from here. And the good thing is it's a continuous process. So you just need to be keen to observe the flowering season to ensure that you have water and uh, that they don't abort because of diseases and pests. So that is it. This is thicker palm. It has actually done very well. I have some uh, about 10 of them and they are actually doing very well. They are stressed when they are young but they are coming very well. This one is an, an evergreen. I don't know the exact name for that but uh, it's actually performing very well. food so this one three months ago it was actually somewhere here but now it's now coming up so this is a total of about 2,000 trees planted in this section then uh, that is Gravelia robusta Gravelia robusta uh, originally came from Australia in fact, uh, it is actually colonizing the forest of Australia. But uh, for us in Africa, it came as a, it's a plantation tree. So what happened was when you are farming coffee and tea, you'll have lines, you plant gravelia so that it can provide shading. But uh, we have actually used it for other purposes. This is a soft tree and uh, it's good for wood. And that is why we are actually doing it. It works very well, it doesn't have a lot of uh, stressors. The biggest challenge here is uh, ants. So you have to be very disciplined in terms of controlling the ants. So welcome to the tour, cameraman Wokhtem. sharing to you and, uh, they are performing well you can see this is about two months old and uh, we'll be harvesting them very soon this one has improved so in a few months five six you should be able to take this to your kitchen this is a uh, cuttings which I just took from the older generation then the trees very well you can see the gravelia so one thing very important you can see here because in our case we are a farmers and we do mixed farming we do animals we do plants so you have to have a very good fence system then uh, initially this one needed a lot of water but right now even if it rains once in one month I'm actually very comfortable this is a new section of uh, sweet potatoes. This one will be ready by February next year, 2025. 
today we are uh, October 2020. You can see this whole section. It's actually doing well. So what we have done, initially I just planted them like how you normally plant the maize. Then uh, when you are starting to weed and prepare them, you take them into the ridges. They will perform well. So it's still I will still come after some time again. Place them back at the ridges, then I'll control the foliar. For sweet potatoes, the most important part is actually the, the roots, because that is where you get the food. This is something good, because just like cassava and the sweet potatoes, it doesn't need a lot of rain. So if you are doing it, you can actually do it in a good parcel of land without stressing. Of the farm, we have a section of sorghum all round. This one is a protection plant and uh, it doesn't require a lot of input as well, a lot of rain. This is, this is actually the second generation. This is October, we harvested the first generation on uh, August. So we slash, then it will come back. You can actually have, uh, so you can see this one. It will be due uh, for harvesting in three to four weeks. Next four weeks. So that's a citrus. And, uh, they are actually working very well. The cameraman, you can focus on this. So these ones are performing well. And, uh, I'm pretty sure by the end of the short rains, will be somewhere. This is a manco. And uh, it's actually doing well. This, this line, maybe the cameraman can show you. We have uh, plenty of them in that line. Then uh, just come. As avocado, these ones are well established. Then uh, I promise to show you how good performing pixie come. So, this is what we are doing for pixies now. It's actually good. So far, so good. So I promise you to see the part three, but uh, let's close the conversation here. It has been a short visit, but this is just part two. We'll follow up from the start up to the end. So this is second generation sorghum, I told you, and uh, it's actually very good, nutritious, natural food. It's an option which uh, it supplements most of the processed food we have. That is the beauty of being in a farm. So until next time, take care of yourself. And in case you have not subscribed, kindly tune in. This is Teach Patrick Egon, and I'm proud to have you here today. Asante sana. Thank you.